Thank you for listening to the weekly messages of New Providence Primitive Baptist Church. To subscribe to our podcast, hear other messages, or learn more about us, please visit nppbc.com. I'm healed tonight. Yeah. Maybe sometime I can explain it to you, but I can't right now. Because God knows what we need tonight. Amen. I've got a Amen. salvation message. I've got a sinner message tonight. Preach it. Amazing how I got here tonight. Yeah. There's a reason I'm here. Yeah. Maybe through the message you'll find out why. And I'm glad to be here tonight. I didn't come to take over and be seen. I just come to worship God. Amen. Mind the Lord what He's told me, put on my heart to do tonight. Hey, the Bible's telling me to Mark chapter 8. We'll start at verse 27. We've got three or four verses here. Three verses, I believe it is. And bring the message that God's laid on my heart. Good to be here. That's always good to come to you, Providence. And me and Brother Alfred was in a meeting last Tuesday up in the fall. Boy, I mean, heaven come down. I'm still shouting from that message. That message is up there in that service. God, God's good to us, ain't he? I'm, I'm glad to be here tonight. The old song we sang, don't let the uh, sinners perish. You know, this time we better get busy. Time's running yeah. out. I was thinking today how fast this day's went. I mean, this, this year's about gone already. We just got started. But I'm glad we're getting closer to the coming of the Lord. He's coming. We need to be ready. Mark chapter 8, verse 27. And Jesus went out and his disciples into the town of Caesar, I guess it is, Philippi, and by that way he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Whom do you whom do men say that I am? They answered, and John the Baptist, but come some said Elias, and others said one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But who say you that I am? And Peter answered and said unto him, Thou art the Christ. You can be seated, I want to preach tonight. I want to use forethought. Thou art God. There is a God. Peter said, Who art there? He said, Thou art God. And I'm thankful tonight we have a Savior. Yeah. Thankfully we have a Lord God that loves us, a God that cares. And I, I want to use that for a poll tonight. And I, I think about many things as I studying today. It's amazing how I got a phone call and Brother Tommy called me and I called him and, and things worked out so perfect and I, I, I'm not here just to uh, 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 take up your time. I come tonight to obey God tonight and I, I, I try to stay busy. I've been busy the last few Wednesday nights and Thursday nights and Monday night and Tuesday nights and I'm staying busy and I thank God for that. But I, I want to get into the message tonight over in uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 46. And I'm going to use this part of my message tonight. Uh, and I'll get started here in a minute. But over in Isaiah 46 and 9, it said, Remember the former things of old, for I'm God and there is none else. I'm God and there's none like him. I'm, I'm thankful tonight we got to serve a living God. I, I, by, when the commandments are, he said, have no other God before me. I mean, people got all kinds of ideas, all kinds of uh, idols, all kinds of things, and that uh, they put that before God. But God's number one in their life was saved, uh, and I thank God for that. And I, I, I want to use uh, different ways in, in the message tonight, uh, uh, but I want to uh, look over in Jude uh, uh, you just got one chapter, verse 25. And, and the Bible said, the only, uh, let me get 24 one there. And now to him that is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Look at verse 25. To the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. That tells me right there, there's this one God, one faith, one baptism. I'm thankful tonight that uh, we've got a God that loves us, a God that uh, knows all about us. He knows that I have our heads number tonight. He knows where we're going before we go. He knows what we're thinking before we think it. But I want to get into the message tonight. First of all, uh, he is the Christ. He is the Christ. Thank God he is. He's the only one calling the word of God. And uh, he is my Savior tonight. Boy, ain't it good to know that you got a Savior, Brother Ryan. Brother Tommy, good to know that I have somebody watching on me all the time. And through the hard time, through the troubles, the trial. And a lot of days, it took us a while to get here tonight. Through the traffic, and through town. It's getting worse and worse. But I'm glad we're fixing to get 
out here. I, I've got a Savior that cares. Yeah, yeah, I, I've yeah, got yeah. a Savior that loves me. I, uh, he bought me out of the horrible pit. I, I thought about these things I'm studying today. I, I want to look at it. Oh, uh, uh, David said here in Psalm 41, I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and he heard my cry. Boy, aren't you glad God hears us when we cry? Amen. Aren't you glad when you're in trouble, God told us that? He said in verse number two, he brought me up out of the horrible pit uh, and out of the mighty clay and he set my feet upon the rock uh, and established my goings. Yeah. Uh, not only that, he put a new song in my mouth uh, and even Amen. the praise and the God made himself see it yeah. and fear shall trust in the Lord. Uh, I'm thankful tonight that uh, God had bet me out of hell. Uh, I've been in hell right, right now if it wasn't for God's Amen. mercy. Uh, I'm thankful tonight that yeah. God I, I loves me. What a savior! And an old saying, a song that we sing. Oh, what a savior! Ain't nobody like God. I'm glad with that. He placed me in a solid rock. I'm glad I can't get off. I belong to God. He bought me. He purchased me. Brother Tommy talking about why I go so low. Before I got saved, I was a pretty good little boy. I didn't do a lot, but I cursed a lot. I, I don't want to think. I, I felt like I wouldn't work better bait when I got saved. I, I'm a child of the king. I, I ain't no better than that. I, I be it belong to God. I, he picked me up out of the solid rock. I, up on the solid rock. I, I, let me find that verse. I, first Corinthians chapter 3 I, and verse 11. I, For no other foundation can any man lay that is laid, I, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. He's the only way. I, he said, I'm the way. Way, the truth and the light. Hey, people got trying everything to get to heaven. Hey, just one way, that's through the blood of Jesus Christ. He told Nicodemus, Bob and I, that I say to thee, hey, you must be born again. I'm glad I've got a solid foundation. I'm glad I'm standing on the solid rock. There's a lot of things in this life that crumbles and fake away. I'm glad, Brother Greg, I've got some this will has something to last with us Amen. if we just hold to God's unchanged right. hand. I uh, praise God. I uh, know all that. He placed me on the solid rock. Uh, he picked me up out of the horrible pit. Uh, he sealed me unto the day of redemption. Uh, I'm glad the devil can't have me if he wants me. Uh, he had this old flesh. It gets in trouble a lot of time. Uh, I'm glad it's going back to dust the ground. Uh, ain't you glad you're saved tonight? Uh, uh, we've got a purpose to serve God. Uh, I'm glad we're sealed. Uh, I'm thankful for that. You know, people today, they just put down God. They don't care. Hebrews 6 and 6. The Bible said, if they shall fall away, and we knew themselves again to repent and sin, but they crucified to themselves the Son of God of praise and they put into an open chain. People today, they think they're saved. They hope they're saved. We better know for sure. The Bible, I know you can't lose your salvation. I've got a twin brother, a loving dearly, with Three of us, one died. I was tripping. He believes you can lose the dark cage. I, I, I wouldn't if I had to. I've got something that take me to heaven. Thank God. The Bible said they put him to an open chain. That's what they do. I'm glad we're sealed under the day of redemption. I praise God for that. God is good. Look on in St. John chapter 15 and verse 4. I like this. I thank God tonight that he sent me here to preach this. I mean, I just had a blessing today. John 15 and 4. I like this. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit. It's a bitch that abides in the vine. No more can you. Except you abide in me. That little tree down the old I lived down the lake there years ago. It wasn't doing no good. It's blooming out a little bit, but not much. I chopped that thing down. It died. That's where a lot of Christians are. They'll come to the house of God. They'll put on a show. Act like they're saved. They're not saved. Next thing you know, they're blown they blow away. I dried up by the roots. I'm glad you got life in you tonight. The joy. A victory in serving God. Praise God for that tonight. 
I want to talk about many things. I could preach you all night, not even get started on this thought that God's given me tonight. Look over in Galatians chapter 2. Verse number 20, old man like the church, he sings that song, he's in me, he's in my walk, he's in my talk, he's in my uh, songs and everything. Uh, Galatians 2, 20, uh, I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless, uh, I live yet not, but uh, Christ liveth in me, uh, and the life which I now live in the flesh, uh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, uh, who loved me and gave himself for me. Uh, I'm glad Christ lived it in the heart, uh, and we're saved tonight. I will be a praise of God. Thanking God that we had something to get us through this walk of life. He's good to us all the time. The Bible says in Ephesians 4 and 30, we're sealed under the day of redemption. Like what he said here in John 10, 28. The Bible talks about here how that we're protected. They would like to drag us all into hell. Boy, he's on the job, ain't he? Yep. We have problems in our church too, just like you do. And what time you do good, the Bible said he was present. Yep. I've never seen the devil work like he has. And our people are getting away from God, getting out of church. You can't get them in the house of God. I threw out here in the ball. We passed the whole field a while ago. A pack sitting out in the rain, hot sun. Yep. It don't matter. They go right on and on and on. They can't come to the house of God. But there's a judgment coming. There's a pain there coming one day. But I'm glad I have a desire to go to the house of God. Yes. Okay. I said here in John 10, 28, I give unto them what? Eternal life. What's eternal? That's forever. There's no way to it. it there's, there's no way you can imagine that. And they shall never perish, neither shall any man. I put them out of my hand. Boy, the devil liked to, wouldn't he? I, I'm, I'm sealed under the day of redemption. I, I, my sins are under the blood, never to be remembered no more. I, that's great right there. I, that's God's grace. That's God's mercy. Praise God. He's my Savior. Aren't you glad you got somebody that loves you, somebody that cares? God was here. He loved us while we yet sinners. Number two tonight, he's my shepherd. Well, I'm glad I've got a shepherd tonight. I try to be the shepherd of Bell, uh, Freedom Baptist Church. I've been there almost 11 years now. I've been up and down, seen them come and go. I, I try to be a good pastor, a good shepherd. I, I thought about little David many times up there in the desert. I, I watched an old lamb sheep. I, a shepherd's job's a pretty hard job. I, and those sheep, they know right from wrong. I, I'm thankful tonight. I, if we're saved tonight, the Bible said, Damn James, I, in the north to do good and do it not is sin. I'm glad I've got a heavenly shepherd for yeah. uh, uh, victory. Uh, I'm glad tonight. I, I, I want to be in God's presence. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I'll get started here. I ain't got wound up yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> Psalms 23, like this. The Lord is my white shepherd. Yeah. I shall not. What well, boy, people are they'll never satisfy. They want this and want that. They get that and they want more. He makes me lie down in green pasture. He leads me beside the still water. Yeah. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of lacking up. And for his name, say, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no way for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they come to me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou knowest my head with over. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Yeah. I mean, we've got to stay with God. We, yeah. we jump here in yonder. And I've got some that comes to church. I call them glass hoppers. They're in one Sunday and out the next. Back hop back in Sunday and out the next. But uh, we better get steadfast. The Bible talks about being steadfast. I, I'm moving. Uh, people ain't steadfast anymore. I, I'm glad I've got a shepherd. I've got to follow him. I, I thank God. I, I hear his voice. The Bible said, my sheep know my voice. I, and they follow me. Boy, I'm glad I hear God. I, I sit now today studying. I, and God, I heard his voice. I, I said, you need to preach that some more tonight. It was amazing I'm here right now. I try to follow God. I ain't trying to be big out better than somebody else. I'm just what I am. But I'm glad tonight as I have what I have. At John 10, 14, Bob said, I'm the good shepherd. I know my sheep and I know mine. 
uh, an old man. Boy, ain't you glad God knows who you are tonight? And you may put it under a bush. You may try to hide. You might try to get away from God. The Bible said in the end of time, uh, they'll run the rocks and up the hiding from the face of God. Uh, it's going to get bad. Uh, I'm glad I'm saved tonight. Uh, he, uh, not only is my God, uh, he's my shelter. Uh, he, he feeds me. He guides me. Uh, he watches over me every step of the way. Uh, what a shepherd we have tonight. Uh, and number three, he's my soon coming Savior. Uh, I'm glad the Lord's coming. Uh, he may come before we get home tonight. I don't know. Uh, it pays to be ready. Uh, I'm thankful tonight that we have the Word of God. Uh, let me give you what the Bible said. Uh, Matthew 24 and verse uh, uh, 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words will not pass away. But at that day and that hour, no, no man not the angel of heaven, but my Father only. Yep. Yep. None of us know when we're going to leave this walk of life. I've had people in the hospital and it didn't look like they was going to live and they lived. Had people in there and didn't look like nothing wrong with them and they died. Yep. Don't, yep. don't pay the fool around. You don't have to be old and die. Right. Just be That's ready. Right. Amen. But I'm glad. The Lord's coming soon. Say, so I go away and put a place where I go and put a place. I'll come again. Just a little while. Just a little while. That's been a long time, Brother Tommy. I believe we're getting close to that call. Just a little while. He that is to come will come. Will not tarry. He said, Oh, one Acts uh, uh, 1 and 11. Why, you man of Galilee, stand here gazing. This same Jesus is right. coming back. Like man. He's coming. I'm thankful that he is. I mean, that's the only hope we have. Yep. Heaven is our home tonight. We've got a better place to go. Paul said that in, in Philippians, the place is far much better. I, I've been living a long time. I've been in a lot of places. And I, uh, I've passed them several times in several places and, and churches. And I, I've never seen Brother Tom the time that we're living in. You can't get nobody to come to church do nothing hard. You can't trust people. But I'm glad God still God. God never changed. He's still the same today, yesterday, and forever. I'm glad that uh, we we know that he's coming soon. Amen. And we know that he's going to call him. He's going to step out on the corners of glory and say, Come home, children. Yep. Those that's in the grave, they'll hear his voice. And they'll come up out of them old grave and be called in the air. So shall we ever be in the Lord in the air. We're going Amen. home one day. He's going to take us Amen. home. There's going to come a change in our life. One day after a while, and I'm thankful that if Paul, Paul said there, and I believe it's in Philippians, he said, uh, glorified body, we're going to be changed over to a glory. This old body's going back to the, uh, about every one of us here, getting any older. Yeah. Got aches and pains and heartaches every day. My legs hurt me all day today. And, and last night, I couldn't sleep. I feel like a, 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 I don't know, like a young kid right now. That's what God can do. His Holy yeah. Spirit makes the difference. I mean, my wife been sick today. She said, I don't think I'll go. Uh, and it's better to go to church like this lady said. Yeah. I miss out. Yeah. I miss you when I ain't there. I, I know you may not feel good. The devil will do anything, but uh, 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 Greg, uh, uh, to knock us out of the house of God. I, I've got some in this country and they want to. Uh, they need the Spirit of God. They need a, a closer walk yeah. with God. I, I'm glad I'm having this heart again. Yeah. I watched Brother yeah. Tommy come in tonight. I seen tears in our wives rejoicing. I, I'm glad to be yeah. in the house of God. David yeah. said, I'm glad to be in the house of God. Yeah. Or to be thankful now. We have a place to come in out of the world right. and worship That's God. Right. The Bible talks Thank about God. here in 1 Corinthians 15, 51. Bill, I show you a mission. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, and the last trump of God shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Thank God for this corruption must put on incorruption, uh, and this mortality put on uh, immortality. Boy, I'm glad tonight. I, I'm glad there's a better day coming. Yeah. It old body, what we can't last forever. I, I think many times the old cars are better than the new ones. I, I we seen one coming down here tonight. The whole front people are hanging out off uh, old plastic cheap stuff. I've got something that's eternal. I, yeah. I know the devil knocks me around and pushes me down, but I, I get right back up and go again. Yeah. I, what a preacher! Yeah. God took my side. I, yeah. I put my faith in Him. Amen. Yeah. He's coming soon. I'm looking for him. Oh, Paul said, I believe he stood out there and looked, Brother Tommy. He said, I'm looking for the Savior. 
looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing yep. of our Savior. How many of us are looking tonight? Yeah, I tell them, old church, a lot of times we don't have many. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. I said, boy, those that's here tonight and you've come to worship God, are we coming for a reason? Why? Yeah. The Lord may come before we get out of here. Yeah. I'm looking for it. I believe it's yeah. safe. Yeah. I believe the Lord can come in any moment, yeah. any time. Yeah. We better be sure we're yeah. ready. Most of all, tonight, he's my friend. Yeah. I like that old song, what a friend we have in Jesus. Yeah, and Brother Alfred had a good time last year going up the road and coming back. And he took me through the mountains and, and we just had a good day. Got a pie, had a good service, a good dinner, and good fellowship. And that's what makes life better, being around God's people and worshiping God. Yeah. Not pulling against and fussing and fighting. Yeah. I, I mean, that's a lot of that going yeah. on in the churches. I, I like a church where you can come together and you feel at home. I feel home here tonight. That's why I make God's God in the yeah. service tonight. Yeah. That's what makes the difference. What a friend. That old song, what a friend we have in Jesus. There's an old song I sung it the other night at church. I'll be a friend to Jesus. Boy, he's been a friend to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I down through the years, but yeah. many, many times I've suffered. God's been down by my side, been put down, been lied on. Been sometimes I hang my head down, Lord, and say, God, why me? God said, You're not ever serving, you must suffer. The Bible said, Oh, Paul said, We're suffering as a Christian. Don't get down and out, just look up and praise God. It could be worse. He's the best friend anybody could ever have. The Bible talks about a one proverb. He's a friend that stick is closer than a brother. And boy, I'm glad the Bible said to make yourself a friend that has, must be friendly. Let's show yourself a friend that has friends. I want to be a friend to Jesus. I want to be a friend to you. God's the best friend you can ever have. Yeah. All your friends may let you down and turn you down. I know a lot of my preaching buddies, like Brother Tommy said, he hit the nail on the head while ago. Well, they'll get mad at for the word of God. I've had people turn me off the radio, chew me out big times. I've had them come to church and chew me out. Because the word of God, it, it got on their toes. They get tore up their playhouse. They don't like that. We better give them the word of God. Tell it like it is. Shell the corn just yeah. like you should. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times we'd feed them old chickens and we'd throw it out there. They share it off their hair. Boy, they couldn't wait to get it. They grab it in there sometimes. I'm glad tonight I've got a friend in Jesus. He guides me through the dark times of yeah. life. It's time I get so discouraged. It's time I know you do. You're facing God. There's a lot of sickness, cancer, heartache. Everything, Brother Lee, I know you went through it this while, man. I appreciate that. What God has done for you. We've got a God that can do anything. Yeah. Nothing impossible for God. You might be going through a dark time right now in your life. My wife went, nerves went out on a Sunday night. I seen her go out this side, boy. I mean, it tore me up. If you don't take her pills, she goes wild. She went crazy. It worried me. I was going through a hard time. My priest started, had a good message, a good service. Then all that happened. It just tore me down. And yeah. Face of darkness, but God took me. I seen the light. That's yeah. what they he is the life. Thank you, Lord. He guides us through the dark times. Not everybody here tonight, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Those right. troubles, that sickness, that right. heartache. Right. Probably every one of us here tonight probably had a reason. We could have stayed home. We could have made it for them. Yeah. Don't feel good. I'm tired. I've worked hard today. We can make all kinds of excuses, but Justin. Brother Jerry, we can lie to God and say, God, I don't think I'll go. I don't yeah. feel good. Yeah. Anything could happen to us too. But I, I, next of all, tonight, he, he loved yeah, me Lord. in the time of despair. Boy, they signed to feel like I'm all alone. They signed to feel like God's miles and miles away. But he said, I'll never leave thee. I'll yeah. never forsake thee. He's always there. But after the hard times, God is right there by your side. Yeah. I found this verse today and I got to crying, shouting. Let me give it to you for I forget it. You ought to mark this in your Bible. This is like God's phone book. Phone number. Let me see if I can find it here. Well, I know it's right here. There were only 36 in verse 1. I believe it was. 31 in verse 6. I knew it was 31. Here it is. Be strong of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid. 
of them. For the Lord thy God, he is, it is, he is that does go with thee. Yeah. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. You ought to mark that verse in your Bible. It said it be strong. Boy, this time we get weak, don't we? It said, I want to commit to when I'm weak. He makes me strong. Boy, this time I go to the house of God and I, I'm a dragon and I feel bad. I, I get behind the pulpit and God begins to deal with me and the Spirit of God falls on me. I, I feel like for this like a different place. I, that's what I've been talking about. I, I feel good right now. I wish the Lord would come right now. I feel so good. The devil tried to beat me down today, but he didn't get it done. Look at it, uh, Isaiah 41 and 10. I'm just thinking about these and coming to my mind. I'm going to try to yeah. bring them to you to help us tonight. Isaiah 41 and 10. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Boy, I like that. Yeah, I like <laughs> that. Many a good ones in that good word of God. I preached out of Sunday night at church on the things of the uh, uh, helps us, and that's one of them. I know it's right here somewhere. I get my lines. Forty-one ten. Not like that other verse. Look at it. You want to mark it? Isaiah forty-one. Fear thou not, for I'm with thee. Be not dismayed, for I'm thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea. I will help thee. Yea. Will I uphold thee with the right hand? Of my righteousness. Boy, that's that's the word of God right there. I mean, that's God's word right there. He will help you. Your friends will let you in. The doctors will lie to you. I had a man go to my house and say, Check my mo, it's 34 year old. I bought it new and never had no coal went out. He came out and looked at it. He said, Boy, it'd be about 12 hours work, be about $400. My boy come in, fix it in 30 minutes. That's what God can do. I really got to trust God. I could have given him $400. I went in the hole. I'd been holding the bag, didn't be having the money. I, I don't believe that. I know God can supply yeah, it. Yeah. He asked me a many times. Next time I didn't have the money to pay the bills and it come in some way. <laughs> I mean, I've been on the radio 40 some years, and it's amazing sometimes who will call me just out of the blue and say, Preacher, I want to help you on your broadcast. That's what God can do. We, we're serving a big God. I've been talking about somebody that loves you, somebody that can. You live for God, He'll bless you one way or another. You may not have what you want, but you'll get what God wants you to have. The Bible said, Don James, we have not called. We, uh, Ask God. We ought to ask him. Then. Boy, this time you ask God for something. You better be careful what you ask for. You'll get it. <laughs> Praise God. You'll get it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Not only that, he comforts me in the times of sickness. Yeah. I've never seen a beat. I go to the hospital about every... I got a man off the church. He's 80 some years old. He's had a stroke. He can hardly talk. Went the other day and boy, had power and more things were getting better. Put him in the nursing home and he's back in the... Uh, put him back in the nursing home and he's back in the hospital. Uh, they couldn't do the thing they wanted to do at the nursing home. He's back in the hospital. But his boy told me he's doing a little bit better. That's what God... I mean, they start you just need comfort. I, I've been in the homes and the hospitals. I know Brother Tommy, other preachers, maybe Rogers, and other hey, here tonight preachers. I, I don't only got none of you, but I know you face things in time. You don't know what to do for the family. I think you're glad God covered us. All things work for the good for them that love God. I'm glad tonight that God can help us. I pray we ought to shout right now. Our hearts are breaking because of the sins of the world. But we've got a God that can help us. Amen. Comfort us in the times of sorrow. Here's another good verse. Romans 8, 26. Likewise, the Spirit also happens on impermanence. We all have them, don't we? Sure we know not what we should pray for as we are. Yeah. That the Spirit has said, make your sins as for us with glory, yeah. which cannot be uttered. Amen. I was listening to this message today on the YouTube part of it. God began to deal with me this message tonight. And I didn't think it'd be that quick of preaching this message here tonight, but I'm here. Thank you. It's because of God's yeah. great will in my life. I want to follow God. I want to be in God's will. I preached to the other Sunday at church. Are we pleasing the Lord? I want to do with please the Lord tonight. And the way we live, the things we do. And we all come show the glory of God. But I'm glad that I'm going to be no matter how bad the world may get. And we've got a God that sees everything that happened. He knows all that. He's a forgiving God. He's a merciful God. 
He's a loving God. He comes with us in times of sorrow. Boy, we're living in a sorrowful time, ain't we? So on every hand, everybody you see is having problems. Got a little lady going to have surgery believe, next month and it's going to be very serious for her age. I got another lady that's going to have, have to have open heart surgery. Say she's going to die if she don't have it. She's going to die, to die having it because of her health uh, problems. And her daughter come to me last, last night in the store and said, put your pray for her. And I am. And they're just poor people. I know their hearts are sorry. And their troubles on their behalf. You know what old John the Baptist said? The old John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. You know why he said that? We've got a God that can take care of us. Why do we work? That's that old flesh that's in the way. Amen. I'm one of the world's worst of worrying. I, I, I apologize to you. Now. But God's a forgiven God. I can't have always been that way. Some people don't care about uh, the boat never land. I do. I'm looking for the Lord's come. I want to be right with God. I want to do my best for God. I, ain't you glad tonight that God can help us Amen. comfort our hearts? I'm having a good time. I don't know about you. You might be scrolling down and you say, I wish he'd hush. I ain't going to hush. I get down. Well, I'm having a good time. I enjoy it when you pop it. <laughs> wish it had been. Might be my life. I don't know. The Bible said here in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, Blessed be the God. I like that. Blessed. Boy, ain't God good to us. He blesses us all the time. Blessed be the God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of what? Great comfort. Who comforts us yeah. in all our tribulation <laughs> that we might be able yeah, to comfort is. them which yeah, are in any trouble. By the comforter who we be yourself are comforted of God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I don't ask you to raise your hand. You can if you want to. How many of us have been healed tonight? We've been through some sickness and sorrow. I have. Yeah, yeah. Many of them. Many of them. Wonder how we're going to get through the boy of the devil. He knows how to tear us down. Well, you need to stay. He told me the other night, I need to stay home two or three weeks, get my life. Well, it wouldn't help a bit if I stayed at home. What happened to me is preaching the word of God, doing my job that God called. I can't quit on oh God. He comforts us in, in sickness and, and sorrow. He comforts us in times of trouble. We all have them. And while you turn, that's problems. Something turn up, something going wrong. Every way you turn, I get calls every day. People are having problems. Oh, Job said a, a, a man born of a woman a few days and poor trouble. And then say a few days, said, I believe every day we have problems. We have trouble. Why? For, because of S-I-N in the world. Our words and the bad shit. God's going to have to move one way or another. Yeah. I don't know whether Trump's going to get back in or not. I, I don't look for it. But we just got to put our faith in the Lord. It's going to be right. bad. Right. He don't. It, I mean, this word done gone. Yeah. Right. I hate to say this tonight, but God's a comforter in the times of death. Mm-hmm. I preached a lot of funerals this year already. I know Tommy has, and other preachers probably have. But it seems like death don't bother people anymore. Right. They just go right on. They don't care. Just yeah. As long as they get them buried, they get them nothing. But we better wake up and realize We've got a friend in Jesus. Amen. Yeah. You need Christ tonight, you look to him. Yeah. Look to him for salvation. Look to him for help. Look to him for hope. Look to him for strength. Yeah. Yeah. We can't make it by our John 15 and 5. Without me, you can do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Thou art to Christ. Aren't you glad you know who he is tonight? Amen. He's my Amen. Savior. He's my soon coming King. Amen. A lot of people in churches, I'm afraid, don't even know who God is. Don't even know a thing about God. They know more about the sins of the world and the pleasures of life than do God. Sad tonight. And I'm glad I know what God has done for me. There's a song that goes like that. I know what he done for me. I don't know what you need, need tonight, but God knows your heart tonight. Yes. You hear tonight through the message, he's the cry. He's the only one that can save you. I can't say that nobody else can, but God can. Amen. I can preach to you and give you the word of God that God's laid on my heart. I appreciate being here tonight. I mean that from my heart. Amen. I hope I ain't no problem to you, no struggle to you. I hope I've been a help to you tonight. That's Amen. what I come for. I just try to follow God. I'm not rooting around trying to get other places to preach. I just wait on God. And I'm Lord. thankful to be here. Thank you for your patience. Tommy, you'll never know what you mean to me. All you good people, I've known you a pretty good while now. 
You treat me like I'm one of your kids. I appreciate that. Amen. Got a lot of love was going on that used to hear me on the radio like a daddy to me, like a mother to me. I miss them, but you are my father and brother in Christ. Yeah. You're my friend, my brother and sister in Christ. Well, ain't it good to have friends? Yeah. Ain't it good to just come together and share the good things yeah. of God? Thank you. I could preach all night, but I feel like that's the little message tonight. I went to Christ. If you're here tonight, brother, Justin, you just come and get a song, if you will. We're going to pray just in a minute. Amen. You're here tonight. And maybe you've let down on God. you failed God. you slacked on God. You're not praying like you did. You're not reading your Bible like you used to. You're failing God. You're coming up short. You're drifting away from God. It's an old song. But I ain't heard in a long time. You're drifting too far from the shore. Right. Right. We need to come back to God tonight. Get on our faces. That's pray right. out to God. We're living in a bad time. It's going to get worse and worse. Time goes on. I believe this will happen. I believe they'll take a little churches away from us. Lock the doors. We've already had some problems over at Freedom. It's sad when you have to lock your doors. Keep the robbers out and the shooters and the killers. It's going to get worse. And I'm glad we've got a God that will take care of us. I heard about the news that are not on the news. Upon 75 out of Kentucky had a shooting. Eight or nine cars got shot at. Had the shooting down in Georgia. It's just school. It's just every day. Bad news. Friends of Cortez sings that song. There's good news in heaven. I'm glad there'll be no bad news there, no sickness, no more death. Yeah. We're going to pray, and then they're going to sing a song. Let's all bow our heads in prayer. And that's the little message God laid on my heart. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. I'm glad, God, tonight you are the Christ. Thank you, I pray if there's one here tonight, maybe not saved, this will be the hour. Maybe they're here tonight, and they say, Preacher, I'm failing, God. I don't read my Bible. I don't pray. I don't think of God as much as I used to. I fail, God, every day. God, help us tonight to search our hearts. Yes. I will sit down and Psalm, search me, O Lord, and see if there's any in me, in me. Any sin in life, God, we need to get it out. God, we can't please you with sin in our heart and our life. We've got to come clean. As a little child, come on, we'll say, Lord, I need help. Back when I was little, my daddy, I'd fall and get hard or something. I'd say, Dad, I need you to pick me up, help me. And he would, he'd carry me through the storms of life. I had a dear old mom that prayed for me many, many times. Thank you for that, God. That's back years ago. I'm glad I've got a God, my Heavenly Father. He brings me through the storms of life and the hard times. What a God we have tonight. You're the only one, God, as I preached that while ago. The only Christ, the Father, Son of God. Thank you, Lord, for being so good to me. Bless this church, Brother Tommy, the good people. God, I love them. Maybe one day we'll all be together forever and ever. Won't be long. Won't be separated like we are now. I'm over in Auckland. He's down here. We get together every once in a while and have a good time. Monday night we had a good time. It's good to be with God's people. I mean that tonight, God, from my heart. Thank you for the privilege. Thank you for the liberty, the anointing to preach your word. God, I've done my best tonight. I like to have done better, but that's all I can do is what you give me to do. I believe I got the message over to us tonight. You are the Christ. There's nobody can take your place. God, what a God we have. People are trying to outdo God, trying to do everything. They'll never get it done. You're the only God they are. You're the God of the universe. How mighty, how great you are, God. That old song, how great they are. God, help us tonight to be happy in the Lord. And God, thankful to be here. God, I pray if you're speaking to hearts right now, just let them get up out of peace. Walk down this aisle and say, Lord, I need to get closer to you. Yes. That old song, just a closer walk with thee. Boy, this time I get, get cold and different. I just have to get on my knees. I don't like the house. I had to get out of bed and say, Lord, I, I need you tonight. I, I can't face the problem by myself. Yes, God, help us and help this church to grow and do good. And every time I come down, I always have a good time. That's why. Because the Spirit of God, they love you, Lord. And they, yes, they want to serve it. And they want to see their church be blessed. And they want yes, one else. God, I know there's some out tonight sick. And I just pray for them. Those that couldn't be here. Those that could come and didn't come. God, help them. We're living in a time. They just go when they want to. But God, they still are faithful to you upon the earth that wants to live for you and serve you, God. Joshua said, for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. God, help us tonight to be real to that. Help us, God, tonight to do what we need to do. God, I'll praise and give you the glory. 
Amen and amen. Let's all stand and sing. They get a song. Let's sing and praise the Lord. You have a need tonight. God's speaking to your heart. You walk down these aisles and God will help you tonight. He knows what you need. That message went for nothing. It won't be avoided. There's a reason for it tonight. Somebody needed that tonight. I did. Thank you, Lord. Will you come? Thank you, Lord. Mind the Lord tonight. God's speaking.